Hey viewers, welcome to another Bicycle Restoration Man video. Today we're going to do a review and use the rehook chain tool that uh, is brought to us from our friends across the pond. It uh, claims to get your chain back on the chain wheel without getting uh, grease on your hands. It also attaches to the frame, uh, that way you don't have to uh, put it back in your pocket with the grease all over it. Comes with this other card as well, which has a uh, couple of uh, websites on it. One has a review. The other is just a guide that uh, shows you how to use it. So uh, let's get this thing unpackaged here and uh, see how it works. So I went ahead and removed the chain to simulate it coming off the large chain ring there. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot here. I guess the center part here goes in between the link. I'll grab it down here. Let me see, pull it from the bottom, bring it over the top. And then lift your bike up, turn the wheel, and there you go. So when you do use this though, you do have to grab the uh, chain as close to the derailleur as possible since the you know derailleur is spring loaded and will pull you can go backwards like that uh, I find that's a little easier to spin it backwards so you don't have to lift your bike up off the ground also if you try to pull it from up here you're gonna have a problem again you know with the uh, free wheel uh, you won't be able to pull it as easy unless you lift your bike up off the ground and even then, as you can see, it's, a little, it's still difficult to pull it. Okay, so now I have it set up so the chain is off the small chain ring in the front. And we're going to go ahead and do it their way again by uh, grabbing the chain here. Got it in there. They say to come around. Pull it over the top. And then lift the bike up. And there you go. Of course, the way I like to do it is uh, just spin all the way back instead of trying to lift your bike up. But you can do it. But uh, let's go ahead and try it that way. Come around. I'm going to come up from the bottom. And just spin it backwards. Okay, now we'll see how to get it on when it comes off the uh, freewheel in the back cassette. Sorry, I keep calling it freewheel. I'm old school, so I work on a lot of 80s bikes, but of course the cassette. You can just grab it, pull it back, set it on, and there you have it. Pretty easy going on that way. Okay, so I pulled it off the largest cog in the back. And normally when this happens, your chain gets wedged in there pretty good, pretty tight. This tool should give you enough leverage to get it out. Of course, I'm doing it just by pulling it off and setting it in there. But uh, this is basically how you would get it out of there. Get your chain in there, or your tool in there. And then pull hard. Get it back over the top there. Let's see if we can pedal that through here. So we were able to get it on um, by uh, spinning the, the uh, crank forward, of course. Uh, it was wedged into the bottom there, but it pulled out. They uh, recommend putting it on the, the uh, seat tube here. Now, you, you can't put it on sideways. Uh, if you do that, it just clips in there. It is just hanging over here. That could probably hit your leg. Maybe not, but even if it does, it'd be kind of annoying. So if you put it on on the front, I don't think you want to put it on the back. It depends how much room you have. You might have more room. I don't have very much room here. It's a short frame. You can't put it around the front high up. 
Hopefully that way it won't uh, interfere with the water bottle here. We'll take a look here. Get this on. It's fairly snug there. I don't think it's going anywhere. And of course I'll put the water bottle in. Looks okay. Get that in and out without interfering. So that would probably be the way I'd put it on this bike here. So just for grins here, I thought I'd show you how I usually put my chain back on when it comes off. I just kind of pull it from underneath here, go backwards, get it on the small chain ring, turn the cranks back, and there you go. A lot of riders, I don't know why, they try and put it over the top and pick their bike up to, to turn the crank to get it going. If you just pull it from underneath and go around either on the small or big chain ring, it's a lot easier. So overall, it's a great little tool. It will keep your hands clean, your fingers clean. The strap here is, is a little flimsy. The only thing I'm concerned about is how long it'll last. Um, I don't know if you can get another one if it, if it, uh, if it breaks or tears. Um, it is super light. Uh, you can carry it in your pocket if you wanted to. The uh, hook up here, the little pins seem pretty sturdy. I don't think... Uh, I don't think this would break very easily. It doesn't take a lot of room. Of course, it's just something else to carry. If you want to spend the other, uh, however much it is, to keep your fingers clean, well, it might be a good buy for you. So there you have it, real world testing. And uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you for the next one.